parents' evening. Quite possibly the most awkward night of the school year. Your teacher's telling your parents about everything you've done wrong that term, and you're sat there as well. Once you've left school, you never have to go through that again. But what if you did? And what if you were a celebrity too? That would be awful, wouldn't it? Well, let's find out. This is Popstar Parents' Evening. Thank you very much for coming in. Pleasure to see you both. At Radio 1, it is very important that we have these meetings so we can have an honest discussion about Molly's progress um, and get to know her family a bit better. OK, now, you're very close. You talk on the phone quite a lot. Yeah. Uh, so you're on call 24 hours a day? Oh, yes. OK. Yeah. Um, there's one thing in particular that I'd like you to um, bring up, if you wouldn't mind. What's that? That's the nightclub incident. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you have no, no idea how much trouble I'm going to be in if I tell you this. Oh, well, well like to <laughs> when uh, she went to the nightclub, I think it was probably about the first time she was quite young, and um, she called me sort of towards the end of the evening and she said, Mum, I've met this lovely boy. And I said, oh, that's really nice. She said, yes, he's asked permission if he can kiss me. So I said, all oh, right, where do you go? She said, no. <laughs> I don't know why I called Mum. You were seeking permission from Mum? No, I, I think you were just asking. I think I just wanted to fill Mum in on yes. what had happened, that a boy had actually wanted to kiss me. Right. Okay. And I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd shot him down. Yeah. Because really, what boy asks, can I kiss you, please? I know, well, particularly on your 25th birthday. <laughs> Let's clear up some rumours we've been hearing about Molly. Molly practises talking in front of the mirror. Is this a thing? God, I still do this. I still do this all the time. What for? So if I'm trying on an outfit, I can't, I don't know why, and I didn't notice it actually until the girls were like, what are you doing? So I would look at the mirror and I don't just stand there, I have to have a bit of a conversation. So I'll be trying things on, like doing up the buttons, and I'll be like, oh, how are you? Yeah, good, yeah, good. So hang on, hold on, wait, wait. So you ask yourself questions and answer them. And answer them. Okay. I mean, no one else is going to answer them, are they? It's just to check how the outfit looks, you know, when you're moving around. Because mm. you're not going to look like how you do, you know, posing in the mirror. OK, let's move it along. Family support now. It's yeah. very important that all our pop stars are supported by their families. Who said this in an interview? Was it Molly, your daughter, or another Saturday? We would never do all that business Rihanna does in her videos. There's a time and a place for that sort of thing. The bedroom. <laughs> oh, gosh. I sound just like my mother. I wonder who that could be. Which one was that? Was that Molly or Another Saturday? It does sound sort of like the sort of thing that you would say. Correct. Was it me? It was you. Tell you what, Greg, there's a time and a place for all that jiggling around. And it's in the bedroom. And it's in the bedroom, that's it! Having said that, in your latest video, from Back To You, you are in bed with a man. There you go, it was in the bedroom. And he had, yeah, but, and he has scratch marks on his back. Uh, it was that mosquito, what, what it was that mosquito yeah, fight, yeah. I tell you. Right. Yeah, I heard that it was a mosquito as well. Yeah. Were you attracted to him because he was resting an alligator outside beforehand? <laughs> uh, come inside, I'll, I'll rub some ointment onto that. <laughs> Let's talk about the girls, the other girls. Mixing with the wrong crowd, OK? Um, did she change, did you notice a change in Molly when she started hanging out with the sats? You did notice the, the makeup. Oh gosh, yes. Oh wait, well, let's talk about the makeup. So <laughs> was she always into fashion and makeup? Or... Uh, no, no. She she was a, a boy until she was about twelve. Sorry, that's <laughs> that's an exclusive. <laughs> well, Alicia, whatever you're happy with. There you go. I know. It's twenty sixteen. Exactly. Always sort of wearing boys' clothes and caps and dungarees and everything. And really, you, you didn't wear makeup or anything until you got into the Saturdays, did you? No. And they, they you asked them about because you said you girls look, all look so sexy and I'm always smiling. Oh, yes. And, and you said, how do you do that? And what did they say? They said, um, look like you're looking into the sun, so squint like you're looking at the sun and then pout like you're blowing a bubble. <laughs> I was like, boom! <laughs> like... Do that again. What is it? So... Squint as though you're looking into the sun, just like that, <laughs> and then blow a bubble. Does that work? You got it, so. There you go, you got it, you yeah, got yeah. it. Am I right in thinking that Britney and Whitney were big influences here? Oh, definitely. Okay. Yep. Um, well, you had Britney 
pictures all over the walls, the ceiling, absolutely. Ceiling? Oh, yeah. So, so when she was lying back, she could sort of um, study all the pictures. She used to write to Brittany and Brittany's mum. And, um, so I used to write to them. <laughs> what, did, what, did you, what did you say to them? What sort of things did you oh, say to them? Oh, God. I thought I was in with a better chance of a response if I targeted the mum. <laughs> so there was a lot of thought behind this. So what, did, what did you say to the mum? What letters did you write? I was like, Lynn, Lynn's her name. <laughs> Lynn, I love Brittany. Um, if ever, you know, she needs somebody to come and hang out and tour or wants a support act, then give me a shout. I'm available. How old were you at the time? <laughs> 20, <laughs> yeah, no. No, I was about 12. Yeah. I was about 12. And then my other standout move was that I actually tried to send a flower from the garden. I thought that would make my letter stand out even more. Really? Obviously, it had died by the time it got there. So poor Brittany just received like a, a dead daisy or something. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> that, so, could seem, that could seem as a threat. I know, exactly. <laughs> poor <laughs> woman. Look to the flower. <laughs> You're next. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you very much for coming in. I Thanks hope it wasn't too painful for both of you. Um, I hope you both find it useful and we look forward to seeing you, Molly, going from strength to strength in the next year. And I uh, look forward to seeing you again soon, Mrs King. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.